Hi there. If you are a web developer or if you are a blogger, many times you would have heard something called as the inspect element and uh, people asking you to do the inspect element, right click and do an inspect element uh, in order uh, to you, uh, in order to find the problem that you are experiencing in your website or your blog. So to people who are not very familiar with the technology, inspect element can come as a uh, kind of uh, uh, difficult to understand concept but once you get a hang of it you will find that it is much easier it makes your life much easier so how does this whole inspect element thing works let us take an example so I have opened for you this Wikipedia page you can see there are a lot of elements in the Wikipedia page now uh, if you are not aware of the HTML document, uh, how it works, I'll explain to you a little bit. It's kind of a hierarchical structure where you have uh, on the top, you have HTML tags and then you have uh, head and then body and a footer. And these are not exactly HTML terms like this body is not HTML body, but it's just the uh, section so this kind of a tree structure where you have first HTML and below it are these three things like head body footer and then you have down the line you have inside body you have for example uh, section one and then section two this is how generally HTML uh, web page is structured so if you go to any web page and <clears throat> right click on it in your Chrome browser because we're talking about the Chrome browser here you'll find that there's something called as a view page source they inspect also but I'm not going there right now there's something called as the view page source and if you click on the view page source you'll see a massive list of something that you probably understand or do not it doesn't matter okay but it is in the same order so if you just take this out the whole HTML and put it in an editor it will come out in this kind of format so what if you want to find out that what is the color of this uh, word here or what is the formatting of where is the path of the image for this uh, image so you need to use the inspect because if you go through this it could be a really difficult process and it's not dynamic whatever changes you make here are not reflected on the page at the same time you know in the real time let us have a look at it how it happens if I just go to this English, I find that it is a hyperlink. I do a right click on it. So I click on the inspect part and a window on the side opens. As you can see, there are multiple tabs here and we might discuss them in uh, other videos. But right now we are only worried about the HTML part of the page. So exactly the same thing that we saw here with all the tags, the lists and the hyperlinks are also located here. Since we clicked on the English and did a right click and did an inspect element, we find that the English is a hyperlink. This A denotes the hyperlink and uh, the strong denotes that the English uh, word has to be bold. Now, if I just move this panel to the left hand side, I can see that there are a lot of, lot of code here. And this is essentially the cascading style sheet, which helps you format the page. For example, it helps you place the uh, element over here. It helps you color this element, provide a background and a lot of other things. One thing is that you can uh, view this panel either on the 
right hand side or you can go to the top these three dots over here and you can see that there are three options to use this uh, to adjust this panel so you can choose to view it on the right hand side or you can choose to use it in the on the bottom so if I click on this see it has come on the bottom and also I can separate this window out if it is uh, you know difficult to understand so for example this is a big page and I have to go up and down once again uh, many times then it gets very difficult for me to navigate and in that case if it is convenient for me I will use this option so it will take off the whole thing into a separate window which is what you were seeing over here so depending on the uh, website scenarios and you know uh, the uh, different kind of things that you want to see you can adjust the panel to suit your needs let's go back to the side panel okay so in this uh, scenario now let's go to the English hover on it and right click and say inspect so this brings out the hyperlink and the uh, word English which is enclosed in the strong so if I just double click on it you can see that this has become editable that means I can add anything over here for example I add French now look at the left hand side it is changed from the French to the Eng English to the French I can in the similar way modify the IDs for example if I remove this completely let's see what happens there's a slight difference or maybe there's not I will remove more items like I'll remove the class okay so as you can see this one is uh, black in color these descriptions but this has become blue that means it is already it is taking the information or the CSS properties from the standard document okay so I'll just restore it by just pressing F5 refresh it and we are back to the same place so the first purpose is you can modify HTML right on the spot and you will have you can see the modifications in the uh, page immediately all right you can do this now what you can do here so the next thing uh, we're going to look at is how to modify the HTML uh, the CSS part of it so as you can see if I just move it on any of the tags HTML tags over here the CSS on the right hand side will keep changing just have a look and basically to modify this you will need a little bit of understanding of CSS so I guess it's a good idea to understand uh, to learn a little bit of CSS so that you can have a uh, uh, you can modify the things very easily and you would understand that as a as a developer it would be much easier for you to debug and find out the problems easier from this rather than uh, going to the source code so as you can see uh, the hyperlink ID is JS, JS something link box and here it is not available but this class is link box right so this dot link box will indicate the class so you can modify the properties in the real time there are a lot of checkboxes so and their properties these are CSS properties display block pad, padding zero text decoration null white space so you want to let's say color it to um, the hyperlink to red what do you do so you click on you just go to this uh, uh, just before this curly brace closing curly brace double click okay be a little careful because it, it, it doesn't appear immediately and right in here color and press enter and it is helping you out with the colors that you want 
okay and if you click on for example um, chocolate did you see the change everything in here was converted into the chocolate color that means any link in here with which has a class link box was converted into a chocolate color to remove it just go here and check this box and we are back okay you can modify the individual styles rather than complete style so for example if you want to modify the style of this hyperlink and not anything else you go again and click on English right click inspect or you can just find out um, the tag from here in this box and in this there's something called as element dot style inside this <clears throat> you can type in color so once again it is showing you all the CSS properties there are plenty of properties but they are like very small number of useful properties for a for a blogger or for every developer and go to color and press a tab or enter and then change the color for example to aquamarine so as you can see only this was changed so whatever you write under element dot style changes only that element and whatever you write under that class changes everything that is associated with that class all right so i guess this was the part of the css so this is very handy when you just uh, are not getting the right website on the uh, right hand side there's some problem some image is not appearing or some color is wrong you can just search here and voila that's simple the third part of this whole thing is uh, can we edit html so it is a fantastic tool to edit html and if you are having any problem in a website all you need to do is go to this uh, problem area let's say this could be the one of it and go to the inspect element and right click here so there are a lot of options you can add attribute you can edit as html i mean plenty of options so let's see what we can do we will say edit as html so upon choosing that we find that um, mm, that we can edit html right from the text box so instead of writing english we write italicized and then we add french and then do this just go down and when you move out of it this changes automatically this saves automatically so you can see the french so as you can see the word english has been replaced with the word french you can also delete the whole thing uh, just by pressing delete element and the entry is gone the entry is not gone from the website it's only gone from the instance of the page that you are seeing so just refresh it it will be back so don't no need to worry all right so it is a good way to understand what elements you are missing basically if you have anything i find it much easier to use this rather than go to the source code there are some times when i use source code but mostly i will go here and if i have to find an element i can all i can just uh, you know go on top of it and press ctrl f which brings up a find box here so if i write link box for example here whatever is uh, just a minute okay so it has found 11 objects so we just use this down arrow up arrow to find out where it has identified the link box so you can easily see where uh, the right set of uh, CSS 
classes or IDs have been applied. Very simple. You want to find a strong tag, for example. So you can see there's some strong tag in here. And let's go. Yeah. So here is our word English right in the strong. And uh, this is very handy. <sighs> And one of the important thing is that in this whole panel is uh, this box. So if you go to the hyperlink once again, click on the inspect, you'll find that there's uh, the English uh, word. And if you go to the rightmost part, this uh, scroll bar, just scroll it down, you'll find a small box in here. What does it mean is that the word English occupies some kind of space in here. Now, what is the height and width of the space? You can determine it by just looking at this panel. So it occupies 156 uh, pixels in the width and 23 pixels by the height. You can also find if there are any paddings or border or margin, which in this scenario there are not. And you can modify it using, and you can modify all of them using the style changes that we talked about it's very handy when uh, there's some problem with some of the divs not appearing right and some of the widths not getting correct setting you know set properly and at the time you can just have a look at the width and other other features so that is quite handy you can utilize it for your development process there's another way to look at the uh, properties of this of any tag in the uh, website. You can go to the styles and then you can go to the computed. And here it is grouped by standard properties. So for example, the color and the display is block, what kind of font it has, font size. So you don't have to go up and down just to find out what kind of font or color it is getting. You can just go here. It's grouped in such a way that it will give you all the information that you need. And it will also tell you in which place this uh, font has been defined, which file. So since it is a Wikipedia file, if it is your own project, you can just click on it and it will take you to that file. And if you click on uh, any of the property, let's say one family or color, if you click on it, it will take you exactly to the point which is making this color blue. It's very handy. So that was the complete scenario about the elements tab only and in my other videos I'm going to talk more about the console source and network part I hope this is clear enough for you do let me know if you have any question thanks for watching